here at Mobile World Congress Los Angeles. I'm with Alok Shah from Samsung Networks, and uh, we're, we're just a little bit outside the trade show floor, so it's not quite as noisy. <laughs> but Alok, thanks for uh, making the time. Absolutely. Um, so uh, one of the things I've been talking to people about is the, the evolution of the 5G core, sort of what's happened in the network um, and how, uh, how remarkable uh, this change has, has been in the network. Can you give me a little bit of detail about uh, what Samsung announced here at the show and uh, uh, related to the radio network? Absolutely. We're excited to talk about uh, the commercial launch of our 5G NR access unit. We call it the AU. It supports a total data throughput of 10 gigabits per second, um, 800 megahertz of bandwidth in a very small package. Um, and and uh, we're deploying it now. Uh, it's commercial. Uh, with an operator in the U.S. What are some of the, uh, no, actually that's one of the technology advantages, but what are some of the other technology advantages that Samsung's bringing to operators to sort of get into these 5G deployments and, and, and advance the technology? Yeah, when it comes to the AU, the reason that it, it can be built to be so small and so light and so power efficient is the fact that Samsung's actually building a number of the chips that go into it. So from the RFICs for 28 gigahertz, through to the DDA converters and then the 5G modem uh, SOC, uh, that's all built by Samsung. And uh, by being, you know, by developing that technology and bringing it into kind of this this small light form factor, we believe that it will be easier for operators to deploy faster to get 5G into market and into the hands of consumers. Excellent. Yeah, my um, uh, colleague at uh, Ovum, Daryl Schooler, uh, wrote a blog recently talking about Samsung's leadership in. Uh, in in 5G technology generally, um, how is that technology leadership translated to uh, to, to market wins? Uh, you know, what's yeah. what's been the, the the progress commercially? Yeah, so you know, we believe uh, I think the industry feels that every 10 years there's a new G that comes, and that's an opportunity for for challengers to make their mark in the industry. Um, and and so we we felt with 5G there would be a real opportunity for Samsung to take its next leap forward in the infrastructure space. We've been we started our R&D work 10 years ago, uh, have gone through demos and proof of concepts and trials and, and commercial deployments starting last year. Um, and we think by being first to market with 5G uh, and our solutions, first to FCC certification, first to commercial deployment, um, we've been able to uh, win the hearts and minds of, of the technology forward operators uh, in leading markets around the world. So US, Korea, Japan, and other parts of the world where uh, 5G is going into commercial operation fastest. And so um, we've leveraged the kind of existing partnership we have with these operators across many of our product sets uh, into the network space. And so both for 4G and for 5G, we feel like we've really been able to, to increase our market share, increase um, our relationships with the operators. Okay, excellent. Well, thanks so much for speaking with us. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot, Phil.